Welcome to a tutorial about Visual Studio Visual Basics. Today we are looking at how to save a file as well as how to draw lines using Visual Basic. On the screen you can see that I have a, fo a folder here and in week 2 I have another folder called Saving. All right, so I created these folders and inside this saving folder I have all the uh, videos oh sorry I have all the um, visual basic programs that I have been creating so with this in mind we're going to file we're going to open a new project first of all make sure that you have a that you are using visual basic then Windows Form App and next what we're doing is we are saving this folder but we're not save, saving it in chart multiple which is basically my um, I'm saving it under saving this is a folder where everything goes and then I give it a new name so in this particular case we we'll call it line and save right once we have the file name we click OK and Visual Studio should be able to open up Visual Basic for us to start editing because we're using um, because we're going to learn to draw a line we don't really need the form here instead what we're going to focus on right now is to go into your properties and you have some icons at the top here we're going to the icon that looks like a lightning bolt is titled events we click on it as you can see all the options are in alphabetical order and what we need to do is go down to paint we double click on paint a title arrives or appears and here we are on our form so how do we draw lines using visual basic let's give us some space we are in paint and we need to code so basically we need to say look we're using graphics today right and what we want to do is draw a line and to draw a line we need pens and in this case I want a black pen then we need to give it some coordinates as to where the line begins and where the line ends so here we're gonna say we want to start at 25 points across and comma and then 50 points down from the top line comma the line is to go all you know to go to the next point 25 and the distance or the length of the line is to be 150 now this should create a vertical line next we're creating the horizontal line so we will type the same thing graphics draw a line we need to choose a pen and we need to give it a color and some coordinates so 40 20 80 and 20 again this should create a horizontal line all right now we have something there so if we look we have to pay attention so we need graphics with a capital R and I'll just uh, sorry with a R and I'm just putting graphics right so let's see what happens so let's start it it will take a little bit of time to debug and here we are so if we read it we're saying that this vertical line is starting at 25 points across 50 points down it runs all the way down to 25 across and the length of the line is 150 points or 150 pixels if we're lo looking at our horizontal line we're starting at 40 across and 20 down we're going across 80 points and we're going down 20 points so the 20 and the 20 points there are uh, the same coordinates which means it's a straight line so now 
Let's imagine we want to make a thicker line. How do we do that? The first thing that we need to do is explain to the software that we are creating a pen. All right, we're creating a graphic. And what does this graphic entail? Well, it's my pen. And what does this pen look like? Well, we say my pen equals new pen, and we need to explain what it is. So it's thicker, so it's brushes. We need to give it a color. In this case, we will look, we will use dark magenta. And we need a thickness, so we will say 20. And again, once this is done, we need to give it some coordinates. So we will use graphics again, dot, what to do, draw a line. But this time we use my pen and we use different coordinates because we want I want to be able to show you what the pen will look like. So this is our vertical line. Now there's a mistake there, draw a line. We'll stop, draw a line. Oh, that should be okay. And we need to do the horizontal line, so it's E graphics. And here we will start at 80, 20, 60, 20. Right? And here we are. So let's look at what our new lines look like. There is an error. So let's see what it looks like. So first let's look at our vertical line. We're saying you start 50 points across, 50 points down, and you go to the next point which is 50 across and the, f and the length is 150 just like previously above. Now in this one we said that this line should be 80 points so we're starting at 80 points you see we're starting at 80 so here you start you come 80 points across 20 points down 160 in length to 20 points down and this is basically how we draw lines, by providing coordinates. So going back to saving our file, I've created my file in here in the folder. Now what I need to do is simply save, save form 1B, save it again if I wish to. I can then close it solution and I can open my project by going to my desktop my folder saving and we should have line and save and here we have the SLA what we have is our codes that we use. Now remember we didn't really use a form, right? But if I run this again, I get a form using paint and graphics with the different lines. I hope this video tutorial was helpful. Until next time, thank you for watching.